Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at truth tables and equivalent statements. Equivalent statements are two statements that have the exact same truth value every single time. So if this statement is true now, this statement is true now. If this one's false now, this one's false now. So they have the exact same truth value every single time. The notation that we use for equivalent statements is it looks like an equal sign with an extra bar. And I know some other countries do use this to represent equivalent, and that's exactly what it is. So we would say that statement A is equivalent to statement B if they have the same truth value every single time. So now we're going to look at some examples of determining whether two statements are equivalent or not. So we have these two beautiful statements. Go ahead and look at them and decide if you think they are equivalent or not. And now we're going to find out if you're right or wrong. Sometimes we separate them and do two separate truth tables for these, but due to laziness, I decided, wait, I don't really need to do two separate truth tables. I can just do this in one, and then I'll just keep track of those two columns. Maybe I'll put those two columns at the end. So let's see what I need for either statement. I need negations of both P and Q for the first statement. So I'm going to call this one statement one and this one statement two. For statement one, I also need not P or not Q. So here's statement one. For statement two, uh oh, I think I'm a column short. Oh no, I need P or Q. And then I need statement two itself, which is, oh no, I have it. Perfect. Not P or Q. This is statement two. So to decide whether they're equivalent or not, if this is true here, this has to be true here. And if that's the case for all four rows, then they're equivalent. Let's look. We have P is true, true, false, false, and Q is true, false, true, false. Not P, the negation, will be the negation of P, false, false, true, true. Not Q will be false, true, false, true. Not P or not Q for an or to be true. One or the other must be true, or they can both be true. But false or false is going to lead us to a false disjunction. False or true will be true. True or false will be true true or true will be true. All right, statement one is done. Well, now let's look at statement two. Statement two, we have P or Q going back to the beginning. And in order for this disjunction to be true, either P has to be true or Q has to be true or they can both be true. So true or true is true. True or false is true. True or, or sorry, false or true is true. False or false is false. And then for the negation of this that's going to have the opposite truth value so false 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 true now we're comparing statement one with statement two and again in order for these to be equivalent they have to have the same truth value at every single row so here we see false and false perfect here we see true and false. oh no oh no it didn't work because we have a true and then a false so they're not equivalent we would say these two statements are not equivalent and if we want to get really fancy, we would say not P or not Q is not, we negate the equivalency, sad day, is not equivalent to P or Q. So was your prediction right? Did you get it? Did you get it? Huh, huh, huh? Maybe, maybe not. Let's try this again. Are these two statements equivalent? Pause the video. You tell me if they're equivalent or not. Okay, hopefully you've had time to look at it. Let's see. For statement one, I need negations. So I need not P not Q, then I need not P and not Q. For statement two, I need P or Q, and then I need the negation of that, not P or Q. Okay, for not P, that would be false, false, true, true. Not Q would be false, true, false, true. Not P and not Q, this is not P and, that's an and, that's a conjunction. For a conjunction to be true, I need them both to be true. So false and false is false. False and true is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. Yay, true. P or Q, so that's going over here. For a disjunction to be true, I need one or the other to be true. So true or true is true. True or false is true. False or true is true. False or false is false. And now I'm just negating this last thing. So all I want to do is take the negation of this. That would be false, 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 true. 
And now we're comparing here's statement one here, here's statement two here. We have false and false. That row is good. We have false and false. That row is good. False and false. That row is good. <gasps> and true and true, that row is good. So because they have the same truth value at every single row, we would say that those two statements are in fact equivalent. So we can say not P and not Q is equivalent to the negation of P or Q. How'd you do with that one? Okay, just one more example. We're given three statements and I want you to decide which two are logically equivalent, if any of them. For this one, because there are three, I just did three separate truth tables. Um, you can do all one or you can do three separate ones. That's up to you. But go ahead and see how you do. Okay, so two of them were equivalent. Which two was it? Was it A and B, A and C, or B and C? Hopefully you're not really answering me because I definitely can't hear you. Okay, for A, I need not Q. I need that negation. Then I need P and not Q. And then I need the negation of P and not Q. So not Q would be false, true, false, true. P and not Q. So this is a conjunction. I need them both to be true. True and false is going to give me a false conjunction. True and true will give me a true though. Yay. False and false. Nope. False and true. False. And then we're going to negate that. So we have true, false, true, true. For B, I need not P, and then, oh, did I psych you out with an extra column here? We need not P and Q. So not P would be false, false, true, true. Not P and Q, this is a conjunction. I need them both to be true. False and, uh, sorry, true and false is false. False and false is false. True and true is true. False and true is false. Filling in our third statement we need not p and again i gave you an extra one not p or q so not p would be false false true true and then this is a disjunction not p or q i need one or both to be true true or false is true false or false is false true or true is true false or true is true so let's see how we how these fare in the first row we have true and false, uh oh, and true, okay. So, so far this one's no good. We have false, we really don't even have to check this, this, the middle one because we already know it's wrong, bye. False and false, okay, that's good. True and true, true and true. So A is equivalent to C, sorry B, you, you, weren't, you weren't good right off the bat. So not P and not Q is equivalent to not P or Q. This has been a video on determining if statements are logically equivalent or not. Thank you for stopping by.